You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips And there's no tenderness like before in your fingertips You're trying hard not to show it but baby, but baby, I know it. All right, I'm not going to sing that chorus for you in this morning voice. My friends, Eric Andreas, your guitar sage here, and today I'm going to show you how to play You Lost That Loving Feeling by the Righteous Brothers. It's early in the morning here, and I'm still making videos for you. That's right. I've simplified this song because this song is really in the key of um, D flat, which is not a very common guitar key. Uh, so I've capoed this today at the fourth fret. I'm going to show you the chords. There's really only three parts to this song, okay? So not only am I going to teach you this song, but I'm also going to teach you the way to think about songs so that you're not having to look at all sorts of notes and what have you, okay? Now I'm doing that here because I'm trying to compact this very quickly for you and make sure that I get to all the parts. But really we're talking about three parts to this tune. Okay, I'm capoed at the fourth fret, okay? You're gonna learn some new chords today, you're gonna learn some new techniques. But we can make this simple, we can make this slightly more complicated to make it sound cooler and we're gonna do both today. Okay, so let's dig into this really um, I like to teach songs according to the verse, the chorus, and whatever other parts there are. Okay, and what I mean by that is you learn the chorus, then every time you hit the chorus, you're good. Every time you hit the verse, you're good because you know the verse. Think about songs like that. It's going to make it a lot easier. Okay, let's dig into it. So starting at the beginning here, really we have, um, and we're going to be thinking about this as if the capo is on the guitar, which it is. Okay, so we're not thinking about the original chords. Otherwise, you'd be playing a lot of bar chords, which I teach and which I play and what have you, but not for this lesson, okay? So we're thinking as if we're in the open position because we're capoed here. So the first chord that you're going to be playing is a G, I'm sorry, it's an A. No, I was right. A G slash A, okay? And what that means is it's a G chord, but we have an A in the bass. Does that make sense? So we don't have to put, um, you know, a G in the base of a G chord. We can put an A. And then in this case here, we got a G chord, which is going to be just the open strings, uh, two, three, and four. And we've got this A that's open. So we're not gonna play strings six or one. Okay, it's just that sound right there. Now we could do this as a strum too, but I'm gonna be teaching it today as a finger picking bit here. So you're gonna have to learn how to mute and what have you if you're gonna do strumming, it's fine. I'll tell you what strings to mute. So in this case here, you're gonna mute strings six and one, and you can strum it just like that, and then play an A chord, okay? If you're playing that G slash A, you're just muting the sixth and first strings. And I'm doing that by just my first and first finger of my thumb, okay? Not rocket science. It takes a little getting used to, but you'll get it, okay? So that's gonna be the basic lick right there. I do the finger picking so I don't have to worry about muting notes. I just hit the four inside strings. So we got, you don't close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. Now we're just going back and forth between this A chord and this G slash A chord. And there's no tenderness like before when in your finger tips. Right? So that's what we got. So that's the basic lick in there in the beginning. And now we have this rise, okay? This pre-course, if you will. And I'm gonna show you a few different ways you can do this. Now, as far as the finger picking bit, what I'm doing here, it's fairly simple. Um, I teach this in all my courses. Uh, check out the free course. Uh, the link for that's below, yourguitarstage.com slash 30. But I teach you how the proper way to do finger picking. You should be using uh, thumb, first, second, third, okay? Not your pinky as much. You can, but typically not. And so in this case here, I'm hitting the bass note and then I'm smacking my hand down on the strings and then hitting the rest of the chord. So. Okay, so one, two, three. So for the two and the four, I'm, I'm smacking the guitar, okay? And the rest of the time I'm hitting the actual chord. So like.
Really simple, okay? At first, it won't seem simple. It'll take a little getting used to, but you'll get it, okay? Take your time with this, or strum it if you'd like, okay? So now, we've got that first part of the verse and the intro of the song, and we're gonna be coming back to that. And then, now we have this rise, okay? So we're building up the pre-chorus, okay? It's gonna get good, all right? Now, the, the next chord, so we have to, after the uh, fingertips part, right? In your fingertips. So here we go, here's the rise. You're trying hard not to show it But baby Baby, I know it I can't even sing this today. So we got this B minor 7 here to start. Really easy. We could play the B minor 7 like this or you could play a B minor chord if you know your bar chords like I teach in my bar chords lesson here on YouTube, your Guitar Sage bar chords. Um, or I show you some jazzy style uh, versions of this minor seven chord. So here, what I want you to do is put your second finger on the second fret of the A string, and put your third finger on the second fret of the G string. Yeah, I said G string. It's the third string, and you're just playing the inside string. So it's going to look like this and sound like this. Okay, it's a beautiful B seven chord. Sounds B minor seven. Sounds nicer than this one. IMO, in my opinion. Otherwise, if we just got the B minor seven chord there, right? And so you can take that and you're gonna move it up to here, except we got a bar, okay? So you can now use your third and fourth finger here. Don't bail out. I can feel that some of you are bailing out right now. Don't do it. You need to become a better guitar player. You're gonna make your mama proud. So just do it. Just listen to me here. We're gonna work out this together. I'm with you and you're not going anywhere. So you're right here, you and me. We're working this out together. Don't get scared. So you're basically, you're taking this form but you got some open notes there, right? They have to come up. So these guys come up, it's sort of the open notes. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your third finger on the fourth fret there of the A string, and you're gonna put your fourth finger on the fourth fret of the G string. And then you're gonna bar the third and second, or I'm sorry, the fourth and second strings. So this is what we get. This is a movable chord, just like all of them are, you know? So we got, trying hard not to show it. Okay, that's our, I guess we'll call that a C sharp minor seven. C sharp minor seven, because this is our C, C sharp minor seven. This baby, D, D with an E in the bass. Something beautiful's dying. I know that's not the lyric there, but I think it is later on. So we got, let's do that part again. So we got a B minor seven. Trying hard not to show it. C sharp minor seven. But baby. D. D with an E in the bass. And then just a straight up E chord. Easy enough. That's the hard part of the song. If you're to hear, you're good. Okay, so now let's get to that chorus. So, you lost. So it's an A chord, okay? You could play a D. Really this part here is as simple as A, D, E, A, okay? But we're gonna throw in a little something to make it more like you're hearing the song there with the bass line and all that. And so the second chord we're gonna play as a D slash A. When we see chords like that, D slash A, the, the left or the top note, letter, is going to be your chord name. So if that's a D, then you'll play a D chord. And then the slash, whatever that's below it, is going to be your bass note that you would play, that you would add to the chord. So if we see a D slash A, we'd play a D chord, but instead of the D in the bass, you're gonna put an A in the bass. But in this case, we're gonna be playing a D slash E, so it's gonna have the E in the bass, so it's gonna be a D with an E in the bass sounds like that. And it's nice because it leads you to the E major chord. So it's like, um, time hard not to show it. Oh no, so we're here we're in the chorus. So, um, the pre-chorus. But baby, something beautiful's dying. Whatever there. Okay, that's the pre-chorus. But we got the same thing in the chorus here. Watch. You've lost that love and feeling. So we got an A chord. And we got a D slash A. 
And we got, and that, and that just adds a little bit of extra sauce to it. You know, instead of, we got this, so we got, you lost feeling. E major. That's the first chord of the song that we're just back to. It's the G slash A. Remember, the four inside strings only, or if you wanted to play it like this, you could do that. I don't think it sounds as nice, because uh, it's basically a G chord, but with an A, a in the bass. Okay. So we're back to the second verse. But hold on just a minute, because we got, uh, let's see. Whoa, that love and feeling. that first chord in the song. Gone, gone, gone. Whoa, 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 doom, 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 boo, doo. Right, that little lick there, that's over an A chord, so you're just gonna hit an A chord. And then we're back to the verse. And the second verse is gonna be the same as the first, okay? Any chorus, any verses that you hear are gonna be the same, okay? So default back to that. We don't need to talk about that again. Good? Okay, here we go. So that, so the verse is the same, and the chorus is going to be the same again the second time. Imagine that. See, this is what I mean, my friends. If you learn, boom, block, verse. You learn the verse, and then boom, you learn the chorus, bam, right? Now, when you come to those verses and choruses again, you're not having to look at a chart. This is how I kind of helped wean myself from charts, because I used to use charts so much. If I'm playing in the studio and I'm working with a song I've never worked with before, I'm I'm dedicated to that chart. But with songs like this that you know, you can feel those parts. You feel the chorus coming up, you feel the verse. So wean yourself from, from looking at a chart. Once you get the basic idea, okay, this is the verse, then you're, then you're off to the races, okay? So that was the second part of the song, the chorus, or maybe even the third part of the song if we're counting the pre-chorus. But we got this other part, right? It's super easy. Uh, Real easy. This is the don't, don't, don't let it, let it slip away. Let. Okay, and that is literally A, D, E, D. Done. You know the whole song. It's that easy, my friends, right? Hey, my friends, I want to help you play guitar. And I want to give you some free stuff. And this isn't phony free stuff. This is kick-ass free stuff. The top 30 lessons that I teach all my students. So I have people all the time from YouTube say, hey, Eric, I'm coming to Nashville. I want to learn from you. I want to take some one-on-one -on -one lessons. And I say, come on down. Let's do it. And uh, but, and that's cool, and I love that, unless they're doing some high-end stuff that we would go over, I'm going to be showing them the same stuff that I'm giving you right now, except it's for free and you can watch it in the warmth of your home. And that link is below. It's yourguitarsage.com slash 30. Literally, the 30 most important lessons, the top lessons that I teach, the first 30 lessons that I teach that are gonna massively build your foundation. I don't care if you've been playing for 50 years, which is longer than me. If you've been playing for 50 years, I have folks all the time that have played longer than me that are going through this course and they do those 30 lessons and they say, Eric, I can't believe that my teacher didn't show me this, or I can't believe I never learned that. This is truly helping me out. And it's your foundation. So go get that now. I want to help you out with playing guitar, and that's the best way. And then we'll continue on with more advanced lessons, okay? Leave your comments below here. Like, subscribe, all that stuff, because I want to hear what you have to say. Did you know that I'm on Facebook, and I'm on Twitter, and I'm on Snapchat, and I'm on all those places where the kids hang out? So join me there, because lots of other things are happening there. I do impromptu videos there, live broadcasts, give away thousands and thousands of dollars worth of stuff every year. In fact, every month when we're, when we're rolling with our live broadcasts, every single month I give away several thousands of dollars worth of goodies, guitars, amplifiers, courses. I love giving stuff away. I've given away over... Well, we won't even get into that. I've given hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of stuff away already. And I want to give some stuff away to you, okay? But there are some rules. And so you got to go to Facebook there, join up, and I'm going to help you with that once we do live broadcasts. Or join me at yourguitarstage.com live, where I do a bunch of other live stuff. 
And uh, yeah, there you go. Hey, as always, my friends, be kind to all beings. You've heard me say this before. It's important that we're kind to all beings because all beings want to be treated kindly like you do, just like you do. Believe it or not, other beings want to feel that way too. And so you can help the world out by being that. Okay, so be kind to all beings. Don't trust the man. Who's the man? You know the man when you meet him, okay? Don't trust the man. Question him. And lastly, practice your guitar, my friends. The only way to get good at this instrument is to practice it. I sucked in the beginning, just like Jimi Hendrix, Eddie Van Halen, uh, Larry, Larry Carlton, and all the greats have. I just threw myself as one of the greats in there. Did you notice that? I didn't mean to do that because I don't believe I'm one of the greats. I'm a good teacher, but um, I'm a mediocre guitar player. That's because I'm teaching all the time instead of practicing. And anyhow, my friends, if you want to be great at guitar, you've got to practice and you've got to have good resources. I can help you out with that, but you've got to practice. So practice your guitar and I'll see you in the next video. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips.